Yeah, I make some flutes actually. Oh yeah. But um, not. I don't make the normal trad. Because the main thing is that once you've got this ball stuff, if you make it move again, then it starts to become more liquid. Yeah, it's soft again, yeah. So it's like cement, it's right. tropic. So okay. it looks like it's set up, but if you wiggle it around, it gets more fluid. And that's why when you build a big mass, if you, just, if you push it around for too much, the whole thing starts to wobble. Oh, right, right. Yeah? So that's just like cement. Just can't Even jump if around too much. Yeah. Mm. And so oh, if you've got the balls, it's good to just get in the habit of moving them between your hands and squashing them a little bit, even if it's just throwing them or something to make them move. Can you one of them now on the field? Let me get a ball. <laughs> to get all wet again, yeah? Yeah. Right. But it can be as simple as just picking it up, squeezing it yeah. a couple of times and then squashing it on yeah. the wall. Like that. Yeah. So then see that when they land they have this join here so you don't want any joins right so when you're working on it you want to be smudging, smudging the joints together blend. but using all of your body so your shoulders is where the power is coming from and so the core. always try and get up over what you're working That's yeah the job, right? and you use your whole body and breathe and all those kinds of things and if you do it like this you're going to look like you're going to really hurt your fingers and strain them and that's just another point Really Practice the Tai Chi. <laughs> <laughs> so try and use your hands yep. together, everything works together. That's the job. And apart from that, the other thing is the edges. The edges are the most difficult thing, and once you've got over that, you can get yeah, right. So when you come to an edge, you work from just trim this back. Yeah. So it's really out of isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right. Well. And that was just from working on the top of it, going like that. Yeah, right. So if you look, if it's looking like doing that, then trim it back to all these saws. Just 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 the other, uh, and yeah. you can do that one as well too, can you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but so when you know where your edge is, you, if you put your hand against the edge, one hand against the edge, and then build to your hand. Yeah. Use your hand to I'm it. for extra support, yeah? Yeah. And the tendency is for people to squish it in like this, and you'll end up with the whole thing going like that. Yeah, right, right. So it's much easier to build outwards because you can always trim it off. That's it. But it's much right. harder to add on once it's. It's surprising. Yeah, right, okay. yeah. Shit. And you want it to be really rough as well, so you don't want them doing this and making it left or right. Oh, it's it's no, it's it feels like anyway. shit. <laughs> You're always compacting it down, so. Yeah. And, so the and what's the stick for at the end? Oh, this is just a guy. No, no, you were poking the stick. Yeah. yeah. This for grip? This here is a cobbler's thumb. And uh, you just use, that's where all these holes are in the building. It's just when you finish working on an area, you just go in and twist it, but not stabbing it. If you stab it, you can break the straw. Oh, okay. So the whole point is to try and twist the straw oh, back into the matrix. Or yeah. Yeah. So it's quite gentle. Like the lever, huh? The straw of the lever. 